Hey everyone, it's Asa here. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a design based off of this guy right here. I end up receiving this from Tashify Nails. And it's an eye rest. Look at how cute this is. So she actually custom makes these. Like she changes the tops of them. And they're just so luxurious. I actually showed this in the last video of my packaging my orders with me. And if you don't know, we are having a Black Friday sale over on LGN Pro. We have 30% off, you guys. This is probably, we did this last year as well, but this is the highest percentage off that we've ever done. So take advantage because most likely we ain't gonna do it again until next year <laughs> but yeah let me just show you this really fast so again like I said this is from Touch by Nail she is actually one of my brand ambassadors for LGN Pro um and she actually started her own business selling these guys and changing out the you know the design pattern of them which I think it's a really great idea and all the other kind of designs that she has is extremely really pretty but I decided to go with the all white and gold legs like look how freaking pretty this is she does have one that's like all white with pink she has like the colorful one i think she has like a black i'll insert some pictures of you know the different kinds she has a really pretty one it's like a bluish and then it has like pink in it i don't know it's really pretty for the legs some of them do come in gold or silver if you're a silver person so you guys know me i love gold so i had to go with the gold legs and then the all white top it's just really pretty i don't do people's nails but for video purposes i wanted something that i can keep my hands still and steady while i record because i feel like i move it around a lot so i'm hoping this will help me center my hand more so yeah we're going to do nail design inspired by this beauty right here so let's get started i think i want to do an aquarium nail design as well i think it's time for an aquarium nail design let's get started so i found these stickers that i have not i don't even remember the last time i pulled it out but as you can see we have have some um the lv symbol that's their sign their logo so i have all these different kinds this one you can't really see but you could kind of see it like that i don't know if these glow in the dark that would be cool if it glows in the dark it glows in the dark you guys oh i feel like putting this on everything i have a plan for this i don't remember where i got this from i, I kind of feel like a subscriber gave this to me i don't remember yeah we're gonna use that i kind of like this and i don't at the same time but this is trendy transfer foil and I just don't know if I want to use it because I thought it was going to look a little bit more gold this looks a little bit more brown we'll see and then I got an all white one and I'm definitely going to use this see that pretty so since I want to do an aquarium nail design I kind of feel like I want some of the and I don't have charms to put inside so we're gonna have to make some so let's do that first before I even glue anything onto my fingers I'm gonna go in and add some top coat on some of these cure it and hope that it'll be like a piece where I can float inside the nail let's see so I'm gonna just add a dot like this that's cool, you see that? I could do that. I could do like these little ones. I'm just do a dot and then I'm gonna um put too much. I'll just cure that one real quick. 60 seconds. This one. Cure that one too. Um, I did a good amount, not a good amount, but I did more um golds than anything. Cause I wanted the majority of the nails to be like white and clear. I'm gonna go ahead and peel these off. Oh, that looks good. See, like the back is like sticky. I'm gonna have to like put some on the back part. Found the trick. Okay, after I take it off, so after I peel it off, I'm gonna just shove it in there and then I can flip it here and it's less sticky. Yay. Okay, found the trick. I found the trick. Okay, I'm gonna cure that. That took so long. I doubt I'm gonna do that again. While that is curing, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my nails. Okay, you guys already know I'm gonna go in with the extra long coffin Nancy curve tips. And as usual, I'm going in with my rubber base coat. Then you guys know I like to cover the entire surface and then take my tip to lay it on flat out. I hope I did that straight. I did. Okay. Making sure 
way because I like to glue my nails on crooked all the freaking time lately. Why? I don't know. numbers are yeah I like that better just a smidge from here all right we're gonna go in with some of this foil which is really pretty I kind of want to do it on the bottom halves I think I'm gonna do it on all of them so it could just be consistent look at that I am steady so we're gonna go in with the sets nail coal transfer for you and I am going to just add to the bottom parts like so a thin layer so one thing about that for you I'm noticing it's not fully clear so it's just like um I want to say maybe a little bit cloudy which I'm not mad at like I think I'm okay with that so we're gonna go on all of them add a thin layer and then I'm gonna cure for 60 seconds now that I'm thinking about it I'm kind of afraid of messing this up let me just cure that. I'm gonna take her out later because I don't wanna mess her up. Oh, 45 seconds. I thought it was 60. Only 45 seconds you leave it in. I'm gonna take the foil and just stick it on. Rub. I'm actually gonna leave it and just like stick the other ones on. You know what, can I use this part? I think I could use this part on the pinky. Oh lordy, please just come right off in one solid piece. Let's see. Okay. It's coming off in one piece. Oh, snap! Oh, that's kind of cool. See that? So good. So I know in some brands they tell you to do like 60 seconds. This one says nail coat is 45 seconds. It works perfect, you guys. Look at that. All of them came off really good. Oh, that's gonna look so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go in with milky white hard gel. And we're just gonna add that to the top and like ombre it down. I'm just gonna take a little bit. Start at the top and then work my way down. I mean, you guys already know, get more as needed. Uh -oh. Try to avoid the cuticle section. I just touched mine. I don't want to build an apex. I want these to be as flat as possible. So I am going to probably have, you see, like I've made just like this tiny little bump. But that bump matters when you're doing aquarium nails. You want them as flat as possible. Well, for me, I know for me, my nail plates, I need them as flat as possible.
Okay, so this is what we got. I like it. I think they're pretty. Encapsulating these like this would look so pretty as well. But we doing snow look or a current, whatever y'all want to call it. We're going to go with the LG and Pro Bling It No White Rhinestone Gel. No white keyword no white meaning there is going to be no sticky layer when it cures so for me oh wait first of all let me just show you i already pulled out some full cover tips full cover tips don't have a name for these i already know it's from a manufacturer these are like extra long coffin tips um and they do have a pretty good arch when you're trying to find your full cover tips make sure it has a decent arch so when you are laying your cover on top it has like space in between to like fill you know so we're using these Take my gel, apply it on the entire surface, the whole thing. Cause then you'll get one even coat and you won't get any kind of lumps. And it'll just look so clean and seamless. Apply it on everything. See that? Clean one even coat. Now this is where you need to lay it on but not push it or squeeze it because you just don't want to flatten it. You almost want it to like hover on top but also have the cuticle part touching each other i hope i'm making sense <laughs> so this is what i mean i'm gonna put it on top and i just want to make sure this top part is touching okay oh these are longer i forgot i cut my nails down but i'm gonna turn my light on and i want to make sure my nails my glove isn't sticky because then you're gonna get a sticky coat on top and that's something that i don't want i'm excited we're gonna do a quick little cure if the sides isn't touching that is fine because we can go in and just fill in those little side walls do i have an opening i do we're good to go we're gonna do that to all of them So I did all of them, got the tanks on. They are longer, but I am gonna cut them down. I'm gonna go in and I'm going to start, cause I have like little gaps on these sides. So I'm just gonna go in and fill that in really fast with the gel. And just like close them up because we don't want anything leaking. I'm just gonna do one of these and just run that gel on the sides. Doki, so I'm just cleaning up the sides. I'm gonna go in and cure for a full 60 and then we get to fill it. I'm gonna cure. Okay, before I fill anything, I think I'm gonna fix like the cuticle part that's like bugging me. I'm just gonna drill it real fast. Okay, so real quick, I'm at 15,000 RPM and I'm just going to go around that top part that's like bothering me.
Okay, so let's get to filling. Actually, I should cut these down a little bit because they're a little bit too long. So I'm gonna file down. I already cut them, but I just want a little more straighter. So I'm gonna file down because I don't want any other dust to get inside. So I'm hoping if I'm filing down, you know, no dust will get in. Gotta hold my fingers a certain way. Okay, I like the length. I think they are good. All right, now let's start filling these guys in. So I got my little pieces here. Where's my tweezers? So on top of this, I kind of wanted to add some flowers in as well. So I got this off of, I think it was Timo. I like the white ones, obviously. I feel like I think I need to put white. Yeah, we're gonna go in with white. And I think I am going to throw in some caviar beads. Now, are the beads going to get stuck? Possibly, but we will see. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I kind of like laid it out. I think I have a little plan. So I'm using baby oil. It worked good last time. So I'm gonna start just shoving these guys in. And I'm actually really precise with what I'm putting in, so I can't lose a piece. Just go in the hall. Just do one of these and kind of like scoop and hover. Let me get my gel out. So I'm preparing my gel. I'm gonna use the gel to cap it. And you're gonna see what I'm gonna do in a second. I'm gonna take my cute cuticle oil. This is not cute, this is baby oil. Shove it inside. You can kind of make sure the air bubble. There we go. Ooh, fill, 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 fill. I like to fill it all the way. I don't like a bubble. I fill it all the way to the top as much as I can. Oh, you can see I'm just gonna plop it right on top. Kind of like pat it down. Make sure it's touching it everywhere. Pat, pat, pat. And then, get a little flash cure light. And just like cure that right in place. Okay, we're gonna do that to all of them. And hope and pray nothing gets stuck. This one is kind of large. I don't know if I should use this big guy. Oh, he don't even fit. Oh man, this one is too large, so we're not using him. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. guys so y'all let me say i haven't even cleaned up the edges yet and they is looking so good and look them they're moving so the actual stickers move way slower than the physical um caviar beads which is nice i mean you get two different kind of outcomes right so like you as you can see i hope y'all can see from there they are moving but these stickers kind of like are like a freaking snail but they're moving so i'm happy I'm actually gonna take out the drill because underneath, I think I have like little globs and I wanna clean that out. Just real quick, like that. 
I'm gonna clean those guys out. Now I'm not trying to make a hole, I'm just trying to get a better, cleaner look, you know? Okay, real quick, I wanna add these stickers. These are the glow in the dark one. Oh my god, I can't even see. Where is it? Oh, these are hard to get out. Give me a sec, guys. Okay, I got one. So we got this one. Should I put it like here? I feel like I put I wanna put it here. Boom. I do not recommend these little things. This is so tedious. You're not laying flat. I'm only adding a couple because it is irking me that I can't just stick it on and it stays. So we only gonna do a couple. Anyway, we're gonna keep it moving. We're gonna add some bling. Uh, I'm gonna go in with my champagne and the emerald bling it box. We're gonna use the champagne because that's the closest thing I got to gold. Just a little bit, not a lot. Um, and then I found these guys. I don't know how many I'm gonna use, but this one just screams luxury. I just got, it just looks like, oh, that's a stone. Yeah, so most likely gonna use some of these. Bling it, no, like my stone gel, I'm going over everything. And maybe these two I'm gonna specifically use. Um, so pretty. I'm going over everything. One even nice coat. I don't want any kind of lumps anywhere. Okay, we're gonna go with this bad boy. Mm -hmm. What else do I wanna do? I kind of feel like adding this strip just because. Ooh, this has good adhesion. I think that's cool. I like that. We're gonna continue with some bling bling. I'm gonna keep going. I think the main two is just going to be these two, and then the others I'll do like something small. so good tell me these ain't fancy so freaking luxury oh my god brand brand name nails you guys they're so pretty so blingy these are extra af you guys they move beautifully Eww. i love it i love it I think they came out so pretty. Of course, you already know everything I used and shown in this video is gonna be linked in the description box as well as any codes that I have. Don't forget, shop my Black Friday sale. It ends the 27th. Use code BF30 if you wanna save 30% on your order. Oh, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I'm pretty sure this video is gonna be after Thanksgiving, so I hope everybody had a safe and wonderful, beautiful Thanksgiving filled with love and joy. Um, and yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Love ya.